Hello and welcome back to Magic Cat to the back in crypto video. Hope you guys are well, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another banger video where we're going to be talking about the latest and greatest crypto news and pulse chain news that you need to know. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. I really appreciate you guys for the support that I've been receiving. And of course, for the highlighted comment goes to our friend Crypto Richie Rich, who said, Love the video. Referring to the Hex will make millionaires video i highly recommend you guys watching it and of course to my DeFi insiders the youtube members who are choosing to support my small channel but looking at the crypto market today we're nothing really much to be expected but it is going really kind of sideways same thing is happening in the pulse chain world the crypto uh, fear index is saying it's actually on the greed side bitcoin looking really strong at 67 thousand dollars ethereum at 3.5k looking really great guys and of course we're still in the bitcoin season you know the the altcoins you know everything outside of the top 10 uh, crypto coins are still not outpacing the rate of growth of bitcoin and ethereum so you know not expected any action on that anytime soon when i mean anytime soon i'm looking into uh, around september october is where i'm starting to to expect things to rally up seriously okay so again you don't need to if you're watching this video you don't need to rush and then try to figure out what, what coins you need to buy you can take your time still do research when you watch my videos you know do research do you know primary look at primary research secondary my videos are basically secondary secondary research but you can take it further and go to primary research and then decide okay what is pulse chain why is it really a good investment, etc.? Not financial advice, right? But I'm just giving it a highlight educational. What is Pulse Chain about and what does it stand for? It is B. It is my conviction for Pulse Chain is deeper because we're really going for that true decentralization, true DeFi. Okay. For a lot of different reasons that we're going to be jumping into today talking about. So again, as I said, let's take it one step at a time because actually breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, as I was actually getting ready to, you know, record I've just received the information that Ethereum ETFs has officially been approved by the SEC and can go live in trading as early as tomorrow. So that will bring a lot of influx of investors and money <laughs> with them, right? Uh, from the retailers and of course the institutional investors who prefer to, you know, use traditional brokerages to come into the, to the crypto world. We're lowering the barrier even further. We Now we've had Bitcoin ETFs. Now we're having Ethereum ETFs. Are we going to have Solana ETFs soon? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. To be fair to you, any more ETFs will obviously legitimize the space of crypto. And that's what I really like. Definitely will be very good for us long term. Okay. But uh, going forward, I just wanted to show you guys in this video, we're kind of kind of going to go into a little bit of the political side, just because of the nature of crypto, guys, this bull and specifically, things have kind of intertwined, okay? Crypto is now, you know, uh, it is intersecting with the political world. It really is, has become a stance, right? Being You being a crypto ho holder is basically, as it's, it's making a statement to people that, hey, I am taking this hedge against inflation, okay, being in crypto. Whether you're in Solana, whether you're in Ethereum, whether you're in Bitcoin only, whether we're in Pulsing, we're actually all in the same boat, okay? This is what I actually really like. We all want things to be like decentralization, right? So no central point of authority. Um, we don't need to have uncertainty about the inflation rates, etc. Like, you know, about people printing money out of thin air and then the Cantillon effect, things like that. Okay, so without further ado, I just wanted to show you this video. Okay, TikToker has complete meltdown. <laughs> this is what Bitcoin solves. He dropped out! <laughs> he dropped out! <laughs> Ah! Nobody believes! Gen Z, we need to band together! <laughs> Please! He was for Gen Z's first president! Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, 
this is what Bitcoin solves, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But going further, right, if you guys didn't know, by the way, Joe Biden, uh, just to give you a little bit of context, Joe Biden in the past day or so have actually put in his notice that he will not be running as candidate for the next election. OK, so he's not going to be representing his own party. Instead, he has nominated his VP, Kamala Harris. OK, who is Kamala Harris? You probably guys, some of you guys will probably know more about her than me. But I just wanted to show you this clip and it really puts into perspective what you should think about said person. When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population, more of our children can breathe clean air and drink clean water. When we Did you catch that? She literally said, and reduce population, guys. Reduce population. I'm going to leave it at that. Moving to the next, uh, reasons to why Bitcoin solves a lot of things. And what I mean by Bitcoin, of course, you know, I generally do mean everything else in crypto, including Pulse Chain, by the way, because, of course, I do believe Hex is the better Bitcoin. But that's for another topic, of course. Um, looking at this, you know, talks about why Bitcoin solves a lot of issues in today's world. Let's look at this clip. Let's take a look. And so, yeah, he's going to speak very positively about Bitcoin here at the conference. Do you think that these favorable comments could go so far as to indicate that he'd be open uh, to it being a reserve currency for the U.S.? Yeah, so there were some rumblings of that on X this week. It could be something that's very difficult to get done, but it is possible. The Justice Department holds about 200,000 units of Bitcoin. So the United States is the largest holder of Bitcoin. And so they could easily just move that over to the Department of Treasury and start right there and have 13 billion worth of Bitcoin mm -hmm. on the balance sheet. So it is a possible move. It just could be tough to get done. But what happens is, is the Justice Department in holding these units of Bitcoin, they've been a random seller in the space. And so if they move from being a random seller at times, which could push the price of Bitcoin down over to being a long term hodler, well, that could be really good for the space. And My guy really also used the, the lingo hodler. <laughs> Yo, that guy's base. Let me just say, guys, people like him. People like Donald Trump becoming a president will make things like this even more possible. Having Bitcoin part of the absolute, you know, reserve on the reserve balance sheet, absolutely crazy. Um, just if you guys didn't know, because he did mention that he, you know, governments actually own Bitcoin. A lot of you guys actually don't know that, which kind of makes Bitcoin, you know, less on the or more on the centralized side but that's also another topic for another video but you can see for example this is the this is the distribution um you know chart pie chart here you can see for example you know lost unfortunately miners and then obviously yet to be mined because we're still not at the 21 million uh, bitcoin level but yeah absolutely exciting stuff ladies and gentlemen people like you know donald trump he's actually against the central bank digital currencies he doesn't want that he, he actually is pro crypto which is something that's really beautiful and of course that's really great now i'm just hoping by the way that trump obviously because we all know that he has successfully survived a failed assassination and I really true hope to God that he does survive all the way through to make it for the present presidential, um, you know, to be actual the next president. Um, but uh, yeah, it is it is exciting times. And at the same time, it is kind of, uh, you know, worrying times because I did say, you know, things in the political world is actually now intertwined with the crypto world. Uh, but moving on to the next point, this is what I mean by, by the way. You know, Germany catching a big L for them selling crypto just for that, literally to make gains and miss out on the gains. So, uh, yeah, just that's just another reminder. But now more or more so moving on to kind of the richer heart of side, the pulse chain side of news. This is kind of one of the things if you guys didn't know. Again, just to catch you guys up in the past, uh, you know, few days, I believe it was last Friday, we kind of had this world uh, wide power outage or kind of like a crash and it was due to a application cybersecurity application called crowdstrike okay what is crowdstrike now it has nothing okay it does have something to do with windows right so t mainly just windows uh, operating systems and servers were affected so if you were on linux shout out to the linux users right do i count I'm a, I'm a Mac user, do I count? <laughs> but going back to it, Windows users or servers as well 
have basically crashed. Some people were not able to work. Some planes were had to be uh, postponed to the, like the next day. Uh, emergency services could not run at full efficiency or functionality. Reason being because Windows has this integrated, you know, software or service which is CrowdStrike, which is a cybersecurity service, and apparently they rolled out a very faulty patch uh, because they decided to test it in production. Hold on, guys. <laughs> so much for knowing about software development lifecycle. That's a joke. But yeah, this is what Richard had to say about it. Why are 911 emergency services, banks, airports, news, and more all going down at the same time? Centralization. Okay, why is Pulse Chain, Pulse X, Hex, INC working flawlessly because of decentralization? And that's exactly very true. Okay, and then as well, it's kind of a joke that Richard Hart did. Did anyone tell Joe Biden uh, that he withdrew yet? And of course, hinting that you know Joe Biden actually didn't. He's not the one kind of calling the shots. Okay, um, and yeah, apparently as well, Joe Biden did catch covid in 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 the days leading up to him giving the notice um i don't really believe that he actually really caught covid um so uh yeah it's just kind of like manipulation games it's actually really crazy to see this unfold it's kind of like a you know almost like a we guys we're living in a movie <laughs> you know what i mean like this is why i don't really watch fictional movies we actually are living in a in a world full of events that some people in the world are very oblivious to okay so uh, yeah <laughs> absolutely crazy but and again finally one final tweet here which basically kind of sums up but sums up about what does crypto actually solve beyond being just an investment for us to make money right from price go up okay if taxes only ever go up at some point you're a slave on a, a tax plantation many already give more of their money to the government than you uh, keep for themselves than they keep for themselves. Notice it's the government not there. Let's not pretend any of us have much sway over the beast it it takes, not gives. This doesn't include the hidden tax which harms us all, that of just straight up devaluating the currency you saved by printing more and more out of thin air every year. They print what you worked so hard for, which is basically labor. This is time spent to, you know, we're paying with time, guys. Time is actually the only currency that does not inflate. And then we're getting this, you know, for example, dollars, dollar value. And then obviously we all know that, you know, inflation, uh, you know, the currencies have to inflate every year, right? But th that's the thing. They're not telling us actually the true number of inflation. And as well, it's not going all into circulation to us, right? And of course, the whole thing with the canton on, effect um they actually probably printing even more that us the main public don't really know about right and then they somehow you know probably circulate it whatever uh, it's kind of like the tornado cash of the fiat financial system is actually quite crazy okay uh, and it's usually by the way when i refer to that it's truly uh, usually in times of war okay this is why as well by the way uh reasons why Donald Trump had a failed assassination is probably because that he wants to end and put a stop to the Ukraine Russia you know war um which is not a good thing to a few of the higher ups okay the unelected uh you know the government within the government if you catch my drift okay but here making everything go up in value shifts more in to capital gains tax too as well but speaking of tax by the way i really feel bad for the people if you are living in canada and you're watching this let me know how's your tax kind of situation i've really heard that it's really high tax brackets so um i think i believe i saw that if you're earning above two hundred fifty thousand dollars, 66 percent is taxed which is absolutely crazy so let me know if that is true indeed but a final tweet here before we kind of jump into the crypto world and actually showing us some uh, technical analysis and how things are doing here, if you're new to crypto, you must understand this. So this basically uh, answers the whole point where, oh, why do we have an OA wallet holding substantial amount of tokens like, you know, in INC, well, INC is one of the, actually the least ones, in Pulse X, Pulse itself, and, you know, probably Hex as well. Okay, so the answer here is potential hostile bidders are discouraged because acquiring a majority stake from public shareholders becomes nearly impossible the cost and effort to acquire a controlling interest would be prohibitive right limited coin slash tokens available with only a small percentage of the shares left 
in the public domain. So that's the second good point about having an OA holding major shares. They're basically taking major tokens uh, out of circulation okay there aren't enough shares available for a hostile entity to accumulate a significant position to challenge the majority holder so we might as well predefine a majority holder which is the OA wallet the origin address which could be multiple origin addresses by the way remember the government wants crypto to be gone and they can print the other side of the hex liquidity pair for free therefore they could print money at no cost and buy out crypto and become the majority shareholder many have social consensus network development which is basically voted uh, voting weighted on how much uh, you own right that's DAOs, decentralized autonomous organization and the government would now have the majority control and could essentially shut down those systems right also hinting on on things like the 51 percent attack okay um so yeah richard hart saw this weakness and has put in a protection against it this and then he mentioned Somi highlights. Shout out to Somi, by the way. So uh, yeah, this is why, by the way, being in posting is absolutely amazing because number one, British High has never paid for any KOLs, right? Key opinion leaders or any YouTubers or whatever. They we have he hasn't paid any uh, centralized exchange, right? Because basically that's how centralized exchanges work, and there's probably a reason why Pulsion is not on many of them, right? Because those centralized exchanges they want to get paid, and then you have to also provide the tokens to them. For, for them to provide liquidity okay which is it at this point is not really genuine and that's not really great so yeah if you look at things like you know the ethereum foundation if you look at things like even solana polka dot you know uh was it xrp as well you know they keep dumping as it, it inflates the dumping on people's heads it's not really great okay so i i like the approach that richard hart is doing which is you know what let me take the sacrifice funds and let me just long ethereum leverage ethereum and just buy back and appreciate my tokens and that's it let the cause and effect happen do you know what I mean people will come because they want to come after seeing the green candles happen and it is what it is that's how the majority of people uh want to trade so it really is a win-win for us all right and that to be fair to you guys that is actually my that's like the plan b of pulse chain i do think pulse chain is probably going to flourish way before um the actual richer heart uh, sacrifice wallets you know rotate into pulse chain just because of the fact that people re realize how pulse chain is truly undervalued how pulse chain has everything it solves all the scale scalability issues it already is true decentralization compared to any other network literally name any other network we have it all we have uh, what is it called liquid loans fetch oracle soon gonna go live which is actually exciting we have we already have uh, the ipfs's by the way which is basically peer-to-peer -peer for website so you can run your decentralized exchange like pulse x straight on your laptop and interact straight with the blockchain with no middlemen we don't need to rely rely on a you know website to be up we don't need to rely on someone to host it again centralized and of course central point of authority that is a risk and that is a vulnerability risk for like a middleman attack as well so keep that in mind right because we've seen richard hart talk about a lot of centralized exchanges being hacked so uh, yeah moving on to actual other tokens before we kind of we jump into uh trump tokens on the on the pulse ecosystem kind of looking at hex today this is the hex on ethereum again you know a small little correction after a nice leg up looking really good to be fair with you guys again this is thin liquidity um, I am holding a bag of this just in case because this can easily appreciate with way less volume compared to PHEX or anywhere else due to the very thin nature of liquidity. Okay, looking else into the PHEX now, PHEX is actually holding quite strong, uh, 22.3 million in liquidity and right now is at uh, 0064, so not bad. Again, how many X's are we away to kind of local all-time high? let us find out that is basically a 3.6 x not bad at all and of course the main goal is to reach that big you know previous all-time high of ehex which is like around 56 or 50 cents basically and from here from where we are that is a 78 x so slowly and slowly we are keep we're you know cutting down those we're shaving those x's away and uh yeah it's looking pretty good i'm super excited you know what i mean i'm really super excited and just so you guys know like i've seen a lot of people ask me about okay what tokens should i get if i want to get the most biggest gains guys i have to let you guys know 
to believe in PDI, you have to believe in Richard Hart core ecosystem first. Like that's the main part of the blockchain. Yes, it it might not do as many X's, but like it will do X's. And speaking of that, INC is looking really strong, by the way, $2.88. You know, what is it cooking? I want to see. I'm really excited to be fair. Again, I can't really tell you guys much about, you know, short term price change, but it does does look good okay i do think like the next leg up will probably be around you know the 20 to 30 range i'm really excited to to see that unfold and finally this is a token that i haven't really spoken about obviously the fourth uh, richard Hart core uh, personally i'm not really holding much of this but really shout out to you know <laughs> shout out really you know i'm a fan of pulse x okay why because first of all of course it's the leverage of pulse chain what do i mean by that so if you look at the chart, it looks really great, probably um, reflects, kind of correlates with Pulse itself. Um, but you can see, for example, from all time high, roughly is a two to, you know, three X, really, really great stuff, right? But what do I mean by leverage of Pulse, uh, the native token? You have to click on the WPLS instead of the dollar value, because technically we shouldn't really care about the dollar value. But when we see the price of hex against the Pulse, and then you zoom out, you realize actually this whole time since December, okay, Pulse has actually been improving and improving. Why? Due to the buy and burn. Okay, this is why actually Pulse is super bullish. It is deflationary in its nature with every transaction. It's a really a big win-win, by the way. So uh, yeah, this is why being in Pulse X is actually obviously better than just being in Pulse Chain, the Pulse Native Token. I don't really need the Pulse Native Token to move that much, to be fair with you guys. But of course, it is still very, very bullish. Where it's such a small market cap in total. Um, and speaking of market cap, by the way, we can actually go back and quickly kind of look into the total market cap for the crypto uh, world. Right now, we're literally looking at 2.3 trillion or 2.4 trillion. And you know, we're basically at the same height as the, the previous bull run's peak. Doesn't mean that this is it, right? Because if you look at it, if we look at the previous uh, kind of bull runs, you can see that we're slowly, you know, getting bigger and bigger. Crypto adoption is getting bigger and bigger. At the same time, unfortunately, it is getting more diluted because we're being, you know, saturated with even more tokens than ever. Now we have even more choices, which does make it tough for finding out what is the next you know, the best picks for altcoins. Because in the previous bull runs, like, you know, probably we there was only like a choice of 500. You know what I mean? The one before, probably choice of only like 100, etc. But now we probably have like thousands, guys, thousands to pick from. It's actually crazy. Every single week in Solana, there's probably like over 10,000 tokens being launched. I would not be surprised if it's way more than that. <laughs> so, uh, but just a quick uh, thing that I like to do. I'm going to use the Fibonacci retracement just to kind of, come up with a guess where is the next you know prediction for the peak of the bitcoin um, or the peak of the total crypto market cap targets okay so i did this before with bitcoin and ethereum to kind of make these targets and you know i do think my targets are really solid to have it at the 7000 10000 15000 and potentially like 19 20000 but i don't really think ethereum is going to reach there in this in this cycle uh, but looking at this for example what we're going to do fibonacci retracement we're going to put it at the all time high and then kind of like all time low at that period and you can see in the next bit in the in the next bull one we kind of touched the you know somewhere between the purple you know the 3.6 and the 4.2 okay somewhere in between there probably halfway through right so now we can do kind of the same thing with the previous bull run and kind of try to guess what would be the resistance slash support level um or range that we should expect it to reach okay so we're going to do the same thing kind of the high the top of the previous uh, bull run with the uh, you know the lows and then now if i put that on logarithmic and if i scroll that slowly and then you can see, for example, we're going to look at between the 3.6 and 4.2. You can see that's around the 10 trillion. And then, of course, the 4.2 is around 11. So where am I expecting the, you know, the crypto total market cap to reach, the peak of it to reach, by the way? But keep in mind, we don't want to just hold all the way till the peak because that peak can literally be the peak for just a few days. And then it can fall down quicker than you can realize. Okay, so keep in mind, this is why a lot of people, they use the strategy of sell on your way up, 
sell on your way down because in during euphoria it is crazy everyone will believe everyone will literally swear at you laugh at you ridicule you humiliate you for making profits literally by saying like what are you doing why did you just sell bitcoin is going to go to 500,000 bitcoin is going to go to 1 million you're a scrub <laughs> for you know moving uh, selling and then holding stable coins instead so uh, yeah do remember crypto is a solo sport at the end of the day any profit is profit even if you made a thousand dollars from your one thousand dollar investment really good on you okay keep that in mind uh, but so ranges that i would expect crypto to be in this bull run is literally around these prices so 10 trillion that would be amazing um and yeah <laughs> that's as simple as that 10 to 11 trillion i'm not going to expect it to go any higher but it definitely could by the way uh, but yeah 10 trillion would be my target this um you know this this born just because of the nature of you know that the dilution effect of course and how things are going with you know as the crypto dominance or crypto market cap grows it will require um even more kind of uh like we have plateaus okay we have diminishing returns really crypto is not as small as it used to be so technically you know we're not going to have the rapid growth it's kind of slowing down but at the same time we're reaching new heights do you get what i mean that's what i mean but finally guys to the main part of the video actually i really hope you guys have been enjoying it so far learning about the latest news about crypto and stuff like that um a big shout out to like the trump tokens uh related in pulse chain okay super valued super undervalued um right now with this one for example orange mango you probably have heard of it in the nine millimeter world ecosystem uh orange tangang as well um, this is 1.7 million market cap, 186 in liquidity, looking very nice and strong from kind of all time high, roughly. We're looking at minus 52%. That's really, that's a good kind of buy zone. But of course, when it's, we're, when we're talking about V3 pools, by the way, you want to scroll down and actually look into the buy slash bid side and actually read that number because this is the true number of liquidity, the true value, right? Because technically the token here doesn't really count because this is basically a sell wall. People who have entered with single-sided uh, staking, basically, okay? They, they just have their tokens there ready for buy orders to come in so they can take your buy side and then give you the tokens. They're literally exiting. It is a sell wall. So only look at, when you're looking at V3 pools, only look at the, you know, the buy side. And this is the true number of liquidity. But when we're looking at V2, obviously, like for example, this one, the Trump one, V2 is symmetric liquidity. Uh, it's just for, just like Uniswap, because if you scroll down, you can see that 1,000, 1,000, as simple as that, really. So yeah, this Trump, I just want to show it because, um, you know, you could think of that uh, as a great opportunity to hold at 63K market cap. This is a very micro uh, market, market cap. Uh, definitely click the rocket as well but the main one that i just kind of give a shout out to okay super super high risk and uh, kind of newer okay because this one is six months old the other one you know already has a logo index screener ladies and gentlemen we're talking about trump gold okay it's super super high risk but comes with extremely high reward now i haven't i'm not holding this yet i just wanted to give it to you guys you know, and then hear your thoughts about it. Shout out to, you know, Trump Gold, whoever is running it. But it, I do like what I'm seeing. Do you know what I mean? It is super low volume. Definitely means that these are the times that you need to be thinking as a contrarian. Okay, people are spending money elsewhere. Let's try to predict where the 99% of investors and, and traders will be. Possibly things like this. Trump gold okay of course guys trump is gonna win the election trump is gonna save crypto we need people like trump we're in an ecosystem founded by richard hart we got people like elon backing the, backing them both imagine imagine having all three of them in a podcast that would be actually crazy so this is why being in this is a great opportunity for sure liquidity is on the v3 uh type of liquidity and then if you scroll down, it is the true liquidity is 4.9. That's actually not bad at all. You know, you'll get some slippage. You can slowly accumulate. You have to kind of enter sl uh, with small buys to reduce that slippage. And the market cap is 15,000. So technically, the liquidity to market cap ratio is a huge thumbs up. I love it. Now, they do have a Telegram as well. I started following them. Shout out to uh, Guru AI bot, by the way. Um, he's the one who I 
figured out about this, uh, learned it from, and they do have a telegram. So I'm going to leave that link in the description. This is the highlighted project of the video, guys. Okay. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to end the video there. I just wanted to show you guys as well that finally the website, this is a beautiful looking website. You can tell that they've, you know, thought about they wanted to be slick. Trump gold, the world's greatest coin. Lovely, lovely. The best of the best. You know what? I'm feeling like reading something today. So let's read it. Pulse Chain is one of my favorite platforms with fantastic products of all kinds. That's why I'm thrilled that they agree with me. Trump gold is the world's greatest crypto. And I mean that in every sense of the word. These cryptocurrencies are by far the best performing, most valuable assets you'll ever have. Truly in a league of their own. Pulse Chain is the only place where you can buy Trump gold. Trump Gold is a five-star premium quality that belongs in a very, very select category, certified digital assets. There's nothing better than that. Of all digital assets available, less than 1% qualifies for this elite category. It's the best of the best. Trump Gold is designed to perfection to provide the ultimate in security and profitability. Treat yourself to the very, very best life has to offer. One trade and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Believe me, I understand digital assets. It's my favorite investment and Trump crypto is the best. I don't know who said that. Okay. But I agree with him. <laughs> I'm sold. I'm sold, guys. We technically don't know who, who created Bitcoin. Yet it is the most bullish and trusted thing. Do you get what I mean? I hope Richard Hart doesn't pull a Satoshi on us. No, 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 hold on, bro. Hold on, not you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not you. No, we need, we need you, bro. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, well, am I really kidding? <laughs> but yeah, tokenomics, 0% buy, sell, tax, 1 billion token supply. I like that. You know, not too inflated, by the way. Uh, I like that. Contract renounced. Beautiful. That's good. Uh, immutable and secure. No changes, no mending. Liquidity is burnt. Love it. Uh, shows conviction. Fair stealth launch. Again, that is a fair way to launch your token. You know what I mean? Like none of the ICOs and stuff like that. We've seen how it goes. It does have its negatives. No pre-sale, no insider deals. Everything gets a fair shot. Trump crypto is the best. Believe me, it's secure. It's fair and is going to be huge. Don't miss out. Shout out to them. I'm going to leave the link in the description. Guys, that's the end of the video. I'm going to literally going to upload this video and go to sleep. If you guys do appreciate my videos you can support me link in the description you can buy me a coffee to keep me awake at these times when i'm doing my research try to be a morning person instead okay i think that's the best best time to actually wake up earlier than stay up later do you know what I mean let me know what your thoughts about that i'm gonna end the video there i really appreciate you guys i really appreciate you guys honestly join my telegram link in the description tell me what you think of the video i'll catch you guys soon Bye bye